have uh, reported a lot on therapy dogs and the calming powers their presence brings, especially to children. But this kids and canine story has a twist. New Channel 8's Meredith and Shula shows us many of the dogs are learning from the people they could one day be serving. Learning to heal and heal. Yeah. These students enrolled at Dorothy Thomas Center are here because they have emotional behavior disorders. Some might say they don't fit in to traditional schools, but here they find comfort from giving comfort. I enjoy playing and working with the dogs. It's, it's, it brings joy. Makes me feel better. Nick Cummings is among the students participating in the Kids and Canines program. The class teaches life and work skills by putting them to work training dogs. Get it. Good boy. They're finding empathy. Uh, they're learning how to care. They're learning how to have some discipline. Uh, they have routines that they have to follow with these dogs. The pups here are rescues, selected to be groomed to one day graduate as service dogs for families struggling with social disorders. Typically, they go to families with PTSD or autism so that they can help de escalate and help those kids. Students are involved in all aspects of training and grooming and help around 20 dogs a year graduate into their new careers as canine caregivers. It makes me feel good because it makes me feel like I just taught this dog a new thing and now it's going to stick with him for the rest of his life. But the dogs are returning the favor. Students say they leave here feeling better on the worst of days. It makes you feel good. <laughs> Yes, I love you too. It makes you feel good about yourself. I think at the end of the day, it's just the love of the dog that matters the most to these kids. Meredith Sensulo, News Channel 8. Kids and Canines is now a 5013C, allowing the program to travel outside of the Dorothy Thomas Center, and it is looking for rescue pups and volunteers. So if you want more information on how to get involved, it's easy to do. Just head over to WFLA.com.